My name is Nicholas Weisboot. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I'm a student here at the Open Thesis Program at EAC. And at the beginning of the term, we were presented by a series of companies. And one of the companies that presented was Zero to Infinity, which is a near space tourism company based out here out of Barcelona. And for the past three months, we have been collaborating to see how can we create a prototype of the basic geometry that he has designed for the space capsule. What we see here is a model of a section of our first craft to achieve this goal that's called Bloon. It's a capsule, a pod that hangs below a very large helium balloon. My name is Brian. The name of my project is called Sunscreen. And I started my project by investigating uh, perforated facades. So for the fabrication of my project, I worked with a company named KUKA, which um, manufactures six-axis robot arms. looking at um, uh, shapes and uh, material, uh, how the material will react uh, with the movement and opening and closing. Experiment with different materials, um, first with wood and also with acrylic to see how uh, different materials reacted to the sun and also to the robot. This is the first prototype of the module I designed, which gives it a great deal of rigidity and strength, even though it is three minute later plywood, there's almost no shear and I can't move it. I worked both with the laser cutter, which gave me a great deal of numeric control, and with parametric uh, modeling programs like Rhino and Grasshopper to define um, three-dimensional versions of what I would make in real life. What we did here is we used the CNC machine to, uh, once, the, once the drawing was ready, we cut out these components out of aluminium with the CNC machines that we have here, here at EAC. This was my first model, cut with the laser cutter here in my school. It had some problems on its shape, so I went to this model, which was my second model. Each uh, new shape we have to do uh, the different mold. So in this case, for example, uh, there is 15 uh, pieces and they are all different. Uh, we would have to do 15 uh, different molds and there is a big amount of waste and uh, energy. I made a steam bending machine also with laser cutter and so I steam three millimeter plywood into shape that, shapes that make it much more efficient. So what we did, we actually took um, insulated, rigid insulation foam and we surface milled it into a bunch of slices um, for the section of the, of the space pod. 
And as well, we did a series of contours of, out of wood, which created a mold for the window. Rethink the model of uh, uh, the academy and what it is an in institution. And I think that this open thesis fabrication program begins to open up the possibilities of collaboration um, and starts to put in the heads of the students kind of a, a transition point between what was the uh, academic world and what is the, um, let's say, practical world. And YAC, we've always um, learned by doing. We always uh, seek to teach and learn by doing. And I think this just takes it to another level. time this project was very very ambitious because working with sound is very complex it has very very much parameters but with the help of different guest tutors it could be possible like take, taking the project filling in one line it's the first time that we do it it's been a kind of a test run of a potential experience that we will continue in the future because it's been very successful and mostly it has allowed for some students from the master's program to stay at the institute and do a very very specific research using the infrastructure of the institute in terms of digital fabrication and to explore the idea of prototyping certain ideas that they had about fabrication in collaboration with companies that are present here in the Spanish realm and also let's say internationally. Here at EAC, during the Open Thesis program, this three to four month program has allowed myself to do some very initial investigations for the tourist capsule. The intention is for the, to continue with the company at Zero to Infinity, hopefully for a very long term, into developing the capsule. Mm -hmm.